Welcome back to another episode of TVGP's We Rogue Like It. I'm your host, Boston. Keeping the beat with me in the dungeon is Moonpeer. Oh, I wish I could swear. <laughs> I, I just, wish I could swear so much. I had to come up with, with something to, to keep a theme. Um, okay, are we going to go for punny intros from now on? Because I'm no, sure I can help God, with that. No, no I... I feel like that would set me up with uh, an expectation that I would not be able to meet. <laughs> like me singing? Yeah, yes, yes, for all you patrons out there. Um, I, we, both Moon and I uh, sort of had a week, uh, you know, full capitals. Um, both. Yeah, so uh, not a lot of gameplay this week. Um, Moon uh, sort of teased me here at the beginning, but uh, before we talk uh, about his stuff, I did get a couple of runs. Uh, in, and I really tried to unlock that uh, person on the, the second zones. floor. Yeah, I got, I did the thing where you get to two two, you clear out the whole floor, you pick up the glass key, get to two three. Every time I got down to two three, as soon as I landed, you can, the screen is shaking because of one of those stomping enemies. I was like, oh no, S start slowly making my way through the floor. Everything's fine. Get blasted by a fireball from off screen oh. and die. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's gonna make you feel worse, which I do apologize in advance for, um, I didn't stream on Thursday. Normally, I'd like to stream Tuesdays and Thursdays. I took this Thursday off for reasons lack of, like for example, blood flow in the mouth this week. <laughs> right. um, Tuesday, I did stream and I streamed Crypt of the Necrodancer. Mm -hmm fresh save on the PC because I wasn't going to try and deal with latency from my Xbox to my PC oh, to yeah, the stream. Yeah. Um, so I just loaded her up on the PC, smashed my way through zone one, <laughs> zone two, and in the one hour I did on the PC version, I unlocked that person. Oh, man. <laughs> so that I we have a, a we rogue like a channel in our Discord. That stream I said I, I sent a link in the stream to me getting completely wrecked by um, a red dragon. Mm -hmm. That same stream I got through zone two. I think I got into zone three, and I unlocked that person in the main the main room on my very first like wow. one hour running crypt. So, That's good though because that shows you how much your your necrodancer skills have grown over just a short couple of weeks yeah and on top of that as well it's the isaac thing we talk about where when you start a new save and you just fly because you know every yeah. item you know what to do you can get much higher percentages like completion rates so much quicker on a second save because you know everything that, you, that will help you're unlocking like three characters in one run <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. and it's it was surprisingly good. Yeah. But yeah, I had fun with that stream. And it's funny because a uh, friend of the show slash uh, Picking Up the Pixels uh, co-star uh, Mika um, mm -hmm. jumped in. Yeah. Not Mika. Mina, I should say. Uh, Mina jumped in and was blown away by Crypt of the Necrodancer. <laughs> had she not seen it before? She's not seen it before. She had no okay. idea what it was. Um, and it was great having the running commentary um, of experiencing the music and the gameplay and everything else the for the first time. <laughs> so that stream actually ended up basically turning into me giving like an hour long tutorial on the basics of the game, which oh, is nice. pretty pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I was I was pleasantly surprised when I actually unlocked that the the diamond exchange. Yeah. Um, for the PC version, like literally within the first hour and change of me doing it. It's like, okay, I, it only took me two years to get there on the Xbox version. Right. <laughs> so, you know, that's good. Uh, but if you're done with your runs, I will talk about... Uh, yep, that's all, that's all I had uh, uh, time for this week. So, let me see if I can get this right. Cadence is your character. Right, the default character, the, the lady. Yes. Uh, okay. By the way, when you beat the game, you get credits, and it names all of the monsters. It's fantastic. Great. This skeleton is called Xylobones. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> and it just gets better from there. Oh man. Go YouTube to credits for yeah. this when, once you're done. Because well, maybe I'll I'll so save great. and I'll just beat the game someday. Well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I I was stuck on on Zone Four because have you did you make it to Zone Four at any point? No. Mm -mm. So zone four is slightly different from all the rest because 
when it starts, you are enclosed in a room. Mm. And you have to dig through the walls to figure out which way is the correct way to go. Oh, wow. Okay. So, you you know, you start and I think, and guaranteed every single time, the first two walls I dig will just be the outer wall of the dungeon. Right, right. I'll be like, okay, this time I'm going to dig right and down, outer wall of the dungeon, outer wall of the dungeon. Okay, so I'm going left and up instead. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a lot more exploratory in the nature because you're just going from room to room. There is no path through the level. Mm-hmm. So it's really, really interesting. The whole new new breadth of enemies to take care of. The music is fantastic, as always. When you get to zone 3, 4, which is the boss zone, you beat that boss. And then you have to fight another boss. Okay. The second boss is the Necrodancer. Okay, I have, I have heard that you do fight the Necrodancer itself. Yes. But at the... When you defeat the bot, then when you defeat the first boss, you meet you meet with your dad. Oh, okay. So then it becomes two people on the screen you are controlling with one button input. Oh wow! And you remember those puzzle games back in the day when you have two switches, like one square up and then diagonal from each other. For example, <laughs> you have to use walls and obstacles to position your characters in that layout and then move them to those two switches to right. hit them at the same time right? while fighting monsters. <laughs> so like poor and co-op plus monsters. Yes. Yeah. Um, except you're, you're very limited in your motions because they will both move when, you're, when you move. So let's say you, they're vertical on top of each other and you need one to be one square to the right. You put the bottom one against a, a nub and of a wall. Mm-hmm. And then you move right again, and then they are in the formation you need. Now do that for a Tetris L shape and figure out how to get them formatted in that that way oh, instead. Wow. So the, it's, this multitasking thing comes in. Uh, the Necrodancer is on a stage with a bunch of zombies playing music. That's great. As you press the switches, the stage explodes. Okay. And then Cadence, um, you can, uh, when he falls off the stage, he drops the golden loot, which is... A loot that is made of gold. Right. It's not. It, predictably, it's not loot that is gold. It is right. A it's L U T. Yeah. There's a. a there's a. Uh, after floor two, I think it is. Uh, after zone two, I think there is a misunderstanding between Cadence and her dad. Eli is his name. Yes. I think. Um, where you know she's wondering why he's going looking for golden loot and L O O T. That's not what he's looking for. No, he's looking for the instruments, the golden loot. And in in getting said golden loot, uh, you ha- you lose your weapon, it replaces your weapon, mm. um, and then you have to kill the Necrodancer with the golden loot. And it's like, yay, you know, this is done. But you bring your mother back to life. Oh, okay. And your mother hates you for it. Not hates, but your mother is very unhappy with you for doing so. Mm-hmm. Because Golden Loot is the reason why the Necrodancer was alive and the reason why she's back alive. So now she has to keep playing the Golden Loot, and if she stops playing, she dies. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so then it's like, okay, you've unlocked the second stage of the story. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> which is to play through all four zones again as Melody, Cadence's mother. Ah, so she's one of the unlockable characters? Yep. Okay. She cannot pick up any other weapon. Hmm. She has to use the golden loot. Okay. And if you if you buy a weapon from the diamond exchange person, the second you load her up, you die, and it says you died of cowardice, which is hilarious <laughs> to me. <laughs> that's, re- that's really... God, I love this game. Yeah. So you have the golden loot, and the way the golden loot works is... Every time you make a motion, it does damage a square up and a square across from you. So you get a Ah. cross of damage based around where you are. Right. So you basically, when an enemy comes one square towards you and you're standing next to him, if you move away, you will do damage to that square you in a cross and that square you've just left. So you get two hits of damage, basically one leaving and one landing. Wow. Okay. So, because you leave that square, you do damage to the square behind you, and then the square you were just on when you land. Wow. So, you can hit people while running away from them. 
you have zero ranged attacks. None. Right. And you can never increase your damage. Even the rings that give you plus one damage and do different effects mm -hmm. does not increase your damage at all. Interesting. How much damage do you do? Just one damage? One damage. Okay. But it's one damage in four squares around you, twice sure. per beat, basically. So you can put out a lot of damage. But when you have to literally get right up in the grill of an ice dragon, <laughs> it's problematic to say the least. Right. <clears throat> so I played the game some more, and I did zone one with Melody. I was like, zone one's easy. We'll do this. We'll yeah. smash you. Smash the zone one. Easy. Zone two? Minus the exploding mushrooms like they're little green uh, yeah the ones with the red dots on it yeah yeah because you, you jump towards them you hit them once you jump away from them you hit them again right. so problems when things start blowing up in your face all the time <laughs> positive side of this is she never has weapons available in the shops and black chests only ever contain armor so you oh, get okay. a whole bunch of armor upgrades for her and you know it's a lot easier did zone two, did zone three, very happy. I kind of fell into the one more run rabbit hole with zone four, mm -hmm. because I was thinking, I've literally in a day, I did zone one, two, and three. I can do zone four. I know yeah. I can do zone four. You just got to figure out the, the pattern. Mm -hmm. And I got to get better at dealing with the these certain types of enemies. So I was like, okay, I can do this. This should be easy enough. About 100 runs later, still hadn't done it. I managed to get and beat the, the last boss again. And then it dumps you into a fight with the Necrodancer again. Except the Necrodancer wants the golden loot from you. Ah. Uh. And the song is real short. And he very quickly starts closing the walls in. Mm -hmm. And it will kill you really, really quickly. Oh, wow. So, very annoyed. Kept on going. I kept on. I kept on, and I did it. I got to the zone four, and I beat the Necrodancer again. This time with Melody. <laughs> wow! Congratulations. Which thank you. Which involves a really interesting puzzle at the end where I made it with like two beats left on the song. I was Jeez. so surprised. Uh, so I did that. I was like, yes, thank you. I beat it. Is this my story mode complete? No, because when you, you kick the Necrodancer into a bowl full of lava. Aria is there. Ah. Aria is Melody's mother. Cadence's <laughs> grandmother. Right. She knows how to destroy the loot and stop this whole curse thing from going on. So now I have to play the campaign again as Aria. Mm -hmm. Starting at zone 4 and working backwards to zone 1. Oh, wow. So... On the, when you choose hair on the main lobby screen, zone 1, 2, and 3 are padlocked, and zone 4 is open. Wow. Guess what Arya's stipulation is? Oh, no. She has half a heart. Oh, no. She can only use the base dagger. Oh, no. If you miss a beat, she dies. Oh, no. So, yeah. Well, crap. <laughs> I may have hit my wall. Uh, yeah, I, I... Man, I, I... I feel like we have gone through so much stuff in Isaac that feels really mean, uh, especially a lot of the challenges. Mm -hmm. Some of the challenges are particularly not nice. This, this feels really hard. <laughs> Honestly, this feels like... It's a case of, oh, so you thought you were a pro because you did two characters? Right. Here you go. Here's your third and final character, which I checked. Um, she is the final character okay. in the story mode. Yeah. But come on, man. <laughs> I the think there's... Is, she does start with a potion, so you essentially get two hits. Oh, okay. But how often have you been hit and then missed four beats because it throws you completely off your rhythm? Right, or like you get hit and you back up and you walk into another enemy. Like, that. that's, that's my special. <laughs> <laughs> yep, right there with you. And yeah. let me tell you, I haven't even cleared f zone 4-1 with her because yeah. every single time I just I'm, I get hit, I miss a beat, I'm done. Because it's get hit, quaffed potion, miss a beat, dead. Yeah, man. 
Oh, wow. Well, I, I mean, you made it to the mountaintop. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I, you, I made it. The downward it, climb is tough. <laughs> I made it to base camp. That's what <laughs> right. I made it to. Man. I'm. You know what the worst thing is? I still want to keep going. And my favorite thing so far is every character has remixes of all of the songs. Like, Melody's versions of the songs and the levels are different to... Um, um, uh, Cadence. Yes, her yeah. versions of the songs are different to Cadence's versions. That's cool. And Aria's versions of the songs are different again to Man. Melody's. So it, I, I'm getting new songs as well, and it's just like, or like remixes, like her Aria's version of Zone Four is like a, a heavy metal guitar thing going on. Mm. It's like, mm, come on, it's so good. <laughs> like, have you tried any of the other characters, like Eli or? No, I peeps? I was trying to nail down because the, the very much similar to Isaac, the play style is so different from person to person that I was just like, no, I nailed down Cadence and then I unlocked the uh, melody and I was like, okay, get used to this, then you know we'll right. see what happens from there. Aria is going to be an absolute nightmare. Yeah. So yeah, I might have hit my wall. I don't know yet. And. <laughs> This is this is one of those games that when I bought it, I knew I was never getting every achievement in this game because some of those achievements are nasty. Yeah, I I look at them every once in a while, and I get to the one where it says "get killed by a green slime," and I go, ah, "No thanks." <laughs> I don't even. I probably have done that at some point. I bet you I have unlocked that achievement. Yeah, like it's so stupid, but it's like. Mm. Do I really want to do an all zones run solo with Cadence and everybody else? Right. Like, is it is it worth that amount of headache when you could just go play as Cadence and be like, yeah, this is, or even play Melody and say like, yeah, this game is this game is really great. I mean, it, it's great and it's fun and everything else. It's just there is a lot of content there. Yeah. And I'm not complaining about too much content. I'm complaining about the fact that the achievements are all like. I think I have every achievement that doesn't have a diamond next to it on the Xbox One to give you an idea. <laughs> right. And there's a few of them that have 0.0% .0 written next to them as well. Oh, so man. So it's some point zero 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 thing. Mm-hmm. Man. Yikes. This game is so good and so difficult. Like <laughs> Yeah, I I I I wish I had the ability to play more of it this week because I feel like I feel like after last week, I was starting to sort of get better at it, you know, get the rhythm down and get the levels down. And uh, I feel like unlocking the that last shop in the, the lobby would have done a, a lot of good, but unfortunately, I just didn't. It's genuinely, that's a game changer, especially with Cadence and even with Melody, because it's like, okay, I'm going to start with a slice of cheese, you right. know? So I know like, I have some survivability for yeah. a while. I can't pick up the weapon that she sells now, but you know what? That's fine. Yeah, I, I can pick up test and, plus two armor. Yeah, I even did a yeah. test and I was like, she's got a blood dagger. Can I use that with Arya? And then I picked up the blood dagger, went in, and was like, you died of cowardice. I was like, That's nope. so good. <laughs> Just the normal dagger it is, I guess. Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we, we ran into Necrodancer in the, the backlog here because I feel like this is probably probably my th you know we're not doing like a ranking of roguelikes which maybe someday um i feel like this is probably my second favorite after a hand of fate yes so yeah. far from what we've done on this show i would have to agree on that point yeah um, we're gonna imply science in our decision making here <laughs> there's always science <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but now that we're done with Crypto and Necrodancer, I, I feel like we could probably play for another month and and still see new stuff. But uh, you know, we we'll, we got to move on at some point. Um, I fired up Random.org, fed our uh, giant and <laughs> still ever growing backlog because I added like three games this week. Uh, uh, it and came up with Darkest Dungeon, uh, which is a newer this game than I was expecting. Is the Really cool noir art style dungeon crawly that Jason loves from Giant Bomb. Yeah, the one that uh, yeah has that really thick uh, style, and it's all about balancing sanity and all that. Yep. Uh, came out on PC, PS4, Xbox One, Vita, Switch, and the iPad. 
Um, I believe I already own this on PC. Yeah, is... we, we were talking about this at the beginning. I own it somewhere, and I just Check. don't know where. Check GOG, because I... Oh, yeah, or Epic Store, maybe, or... I, got, I picked it up on GOG when it was, like, 20 cents or something like that. Like, when I first signed up for GOG, it was like, here are 10 games for, like, 5 bucks. And I was like, right. okay, I'll take them all. Thank yeah. you very much. I'll do that. Yeah, the hard part is, like, is it on Epic Store or GOG or Steam or Twitch or, you know, like, yep. four other stores? So, Darkest Dungeon, um, I'm going to estimate... We'll, probably four weeks uh for this one as well we'll, we'll knock out a month because it feels like there's a lot of stuff here um, yes not sure if we're gonna do i know there's a big expansion on it called crimson something um uh, not sure if we have it we'll do it if we don't we won't um if anyone uh so moon mentioned earlier uh that we have a we rogue like it a channel in the, the TVGP Discord, discord.me slash TVGP will take you to the uh -huh. server. The ser uh, channel is just called WRI. Um, if the recommendation from you guys as listeners is that we should check out uh, the DLC, let us know in the, the Discord or hit us up on Twitter or something. Um, we're, we're definitely more than happy to, um, to cover it. We usually don't look into that stuff too much because I don't want to get spoiled where it's like, after the events of the ending, here's what it was you do this other stuff um, yeah you know you don't want to get whatever the new far cry game is you know, spoil oh. the, the ending for for five uh, we don't want to do that again so uh discord.me slash tvgp uh, come uh -huh. and hang out with us and uh we'll see you next week for darkest dungeon bye, bye.